this is Hannah and Kaylin, back again with Double Talk. I'm Hannah. And I'm Kaylin. Arthur the King, a new film starring Mark Wahlberg, tells the story of a professional adventure racer named Michael, who meets a stray dog named Arthur, while on a 10-day quest to win the world championship in the Dominican Republic before he retires. But it's not just a Hollywood tale. There is a real-life Mikel and Arthur, and their journey together, where it counts, is real. Listen in as we chat with Mikel Lindnord, who told us which parts of the film are most true to life, and what's your movie magic, and how his journey with Arthur changed his perspective on what it means to win. I would imagine that you've spent even more time thinking about this than even us as viewers have after watching the film. But how do you think Arthur the King made this trek? Because you were crossing rivers, you were climbing mountains, you Going were on zip lines. zip lines. Like, how do you think he did it? This is a Hollywood movie, so it's not really, really a documentary of the real thing. We kind of, I stumbled in, like, not in the beginning of the race, like you kind of have in the movie. It was more, more maybe half of the race, and then he followed us, and then we come along. It, in the movie, it felt like it's, it's several days. In the reality, it was hours, and then he was following us for two days, or with us for two days. So that's like really, you know, it's the Hollywood production, and and the truth is 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 a little bit vague here, uh, but. That's I think that's how you have to do a movie like this. It it's impossible to do otherwise. Uh, with that said, I have been racing for twenty years. I I've been feeding dogs or other animals when I've been racing before, and, but I've never been in a situation like this when someone, even a human being, but the dog follow you for so long time. He he spent like two days on a race course with us, and I think that's it's incredible, you know, and and. Uh, I think everything with from the first time I gave him the meatballs and he followed and he, and he, and he, I take him home to Sweden and and oh. everything it, it's it's almost like a it's almost like a fairy tale. <laughs> Now, we all know that dogs are very food motivated, and so I'm sure the meatballs were very tempting, but I just feel like there's something else there. Like, I feel like he, Arthur, just genuinely wanted to be on the road with you. What do you think his motivation was besides the meatballs? I've been thinking about this in 10 years. You know, you know, I haven't spoke that with this so much, but um, when we came home, uh, he had to be in quarantine and, you know, with, with the surgery and everything to... You know, to survive with his back, it took almost four months. You know, to 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 heal up, and then he moved into our our house, and so I kept one of those package of meatballs, the same brand, the same batch, and everything. So I kept those meatballs, and uh, so that was the first meal I gave him back in my house. So I was like, okay, now I, you know, so he, you know, so I gave him the meatballs. But the thing is that he didn't want the meatballs. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> he actually like he like chicken. At what point did you realize that actually you couldn't let Arthur go and that he was going to come home with you to be a part of your family in Sweden? The thing is like when when we finished this race, uh, I my 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 flight ticket back home was like four days later, and I was like, okay, I need to take him to a vet. That was my first thought and. I was never, never in my imagine like, okay, should I adopt him home to Sweden? I, I don't even thought about that idea. So, but that, that, then we start to, you know, to search a vet and everything. And then we met an, an Ecuadorian team and they said like, you should adopt him. And I was like, I don't have a, I never have a dog before. I have never been in a situation like this before. And, oh. Yeah, you should call agriculture company in, in Sweden and, you know, and. I did that uh, because I felt like, okay, I altered, actually, he put everything on one one card, one golden ticket, you know, to, to survive and, and, and stuff. So I was like, okay, if he can do it, I, I I'll give my best. But I was never certain that, that I only have four days. So I, we were like day and night to get all the permission, take him to the vet uh, and, and, uh, you know, did did all that. It's, it was, uh, you know, I, I got the last paperwork in the movie. That's super accurate. 20 minutes before uh, 
we were checking in the airplane back home. It felt like I was in the movie. Just from watching the movie, at least, it seems like this trek for you was supposed to be like the high point of your career and it was going to be a big win. But then I feel like t at the end of the movie, even when you and your team and Arthur didn't come in first, it didn't take away at all from that feeling of triumph, which I think is what made the movie so heartwarming and special. What did your experience with Arthur and your team kind of teach you or shape your perspective on what it means to be a winner? I was the average guy when I grew up and I came from that. I don't have I don't have any talent. So I, I came from that. I've been fighting my whole life, like almost like Arthur. So that's my, maybe that's that's why we, we come together so good. Uh, yeah, so I, I've been an underdog my whole life. I was fighting and, and, you know, after like almost 20 years, I was ready to win, to win the world championship. And, uh, you know, I, I put everything in my power. I didn't have any more money. I was like pushing everything to win. And um, I think with, with Arthur and everything that changed, I, I dropped racing and, and, and we had six fantastic years with Arthur when... I think without him, I don't think we would have spent so much time together as a family to do a lot of adventures. Arthur loved that. It doesn't matter if it was summer or winter. He actually loved winter. But we did so many things together. And I think that's 100% because of Arthur. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm I'm very lucky to to have this experience. And I I, I, will, I would like to do that. Everyone would experience the same thing I did with Arthur. Even if you have a target, you're aiming for me. I was aiming for the world championship. I was aiming for, to be the best in the world in my sport. Uh, but sometimes, you know, life takes a turn. And, and sometimes it's like, don't fight. Uh, maybe that turn or, or that closed door, maybe push a little bit harder. You don't know what's happened behind that new track in life. So... I think I would think that is is this movie is, is all about you know there to take other other ways and other turns when life it's about the important thing in life your family and 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 also like here we have Arthur then he's became a family member for us for six years and that's been it was fantastic you know and, and uh, also get you know, they all experience with that. Uh, I think that's the, that's the two key parts, I think, with the movie. Now, I have to ask this, because I know that you said that there was a little bit of Hollywood magic involved in the film, but that scene with the rescue on the zip line with the bikes, was that real? Because my heart was pounding out of my chest. I felt like I was going to faint <laughs> during that scene. It was very intense. I, I've done a lot of zip line, uh, but that rescue thing is a little bit Hollywood magic. In the movie, we have a lot of scenes that are extremely close to the truth uh, and if you take away the basics us and ecuador uh, or uh, countries like that and and the, the are sweden if you take that part away the 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 thing with this movie is is, is so accurate and to be there on set you know and I, i've been crying so much when we did this movie uh, i will be honest you know when he gave you know when mark gave you kai the dog to play Arthur, his name. I was like, I have my glasses on, like sunglasses. I was crying. The movie is so accurate sometimes. So it's like, and, and even the things at the end with Arthur and, the, you know, to fight to get him back and everything around that. It's, um, I know, it's, 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 I think it's a kind of a miracle.